good blessings, good blessings, my brothers and sisters in this truth. All praises to the Most High. Do I say this name? Let's get our sword out the mud. Brothers and sisters, you know the Most High has his Ten Commandments that the world rejects. That's why the world is an enemy against the Most High. That's why, the most, that's why Scripture says the world's hated him first before he's hated you. Their brothers and sisters. The Most High's Ten Commandments. And also we have the world's Ten Commandments. And a demonstration or an example of their Ten Commandments are right here. The Georgia Guidestones are a granite monument erected in 1980 in Elbert County, Georgia, in the United States. And as we see here, a set of 10 guidelines is inscribed. All right. Now that's on Wikipedia. Here we go. A set of 10 guide lines is inscribed on the structure in eight modern languages. And a shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient language scripts. Now, brothers and sisters, Why the most high inscribed commandments on the tablet this, to, to give the inscriptions to be on the tablet, Ten Commandments, and as you see, the mockery, the scoffing. As you see, the world inscribes the worldly man commandments. A, ten, a set of ten guidelines. is inscribed on the structure in eight modern languages. And a shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient language scripts. In 1980, the stones were finished. They carry a tablet in front Proclaiming, let these be guidestones to an age of reason. My dear brothers and sisters. type of stuff popping up. Let me get out of that. But yeah, brothers and sisters, just to show you uh, what the world can Guide, guide stones. The 10 guidelines 
that the world promotes that are on these Georgia Guidestones. My dear brothers and sisters. And um, one of the one of the one of the scriptures was uh, population control. If I was trying to find the nearly 20 foot granite slabs known as the Georgia Guidestones, let's get that rig back up. There we go. Have sparked controversy around the world. This is September 9th, 2013. when this article was put out, published, right? It says the monument is right here. The monument, five upright stones topped by a capstone. And you know, there's a capstone on your dollar bill, the Egyptian pyramid. And, and the capstone is hovering above the rest of the body of the pyramid. So there's a plan that is being um, orchestrated that they're telling you because the triangle to the capstone is not complete, okay? So, look, weighs nearly 240,000 pounds and is inscribed in eight languages with 10 instructions for humans post-apocalypse. Huh? Ten instructions for humans post-apocalypse, my dear brothers and sisters. And um, what does it say? It says uh, three decades. Let me get that off real quick. Three decades after being erected, the monument's true purpose is still argued, my dear brothers and sisters. And its quasi-commandments can seem either sincere or satanic. Now, I don't know if that's got something to do with Quasicodal. Brothers and sisters, look up Quasicodal. Um, I am on. I, I I I do not know, but uh, if I get some time, I will look into that. But um, or brothers and sisters, if you get time, you know, research, research, right? A sharp sword. Now, it says, look, the most controversial instruction is the first that humanity should be maintained. This is what's on. This was written on these guide on these guide on these guide stones. OK. The human the humanity should be maintained under half a billion. Nearly as controversial is the sixth instruction, which proposes that nations resolve disputes in a world court. Dear brothers and sisters, the new world order, the world court. Man, look. 
the stones also boast a few odd astronomical features. You know, the most I tell warns us about uh, uh, being into astronomy. You know, paying attention to um, uh, the worship of the moon, the sun, and the stars. We're supposed to stay away from that, my dear brothers and sisters. It says, a hole through which you can see the North Star each night, a slot through which you can watch the sun rise during the summer or winter, solstice, and a hole on the capstone, which functions as a solar calendar at noon. So, my dear brothers and sisters, All this right here is worldly. And and, and yes, uh, on these guide stones, once you look into it a little deeper, you know, if you can get into the uh, inscriptions, it does say, I was hoping I could find it, but um, I'm going to make this a little short. But um, about the, pop the population control, you know, so, dear brothers and sisters, and this was erected, as they say, in 1980, okay? And as I was doing, it said by, like, some unknown source. So don't nobody really know who did it. Are we comprehending, brothers and sisters? So, yes, there is a strategic plan, as the Bible tells us, that the tares... That the tares try to tear into the wheat with. My dear brothers and sisters of the Most High, you are the wheat. Do not be deceived, my dear brothers and sisters, by the devices of Satan. My dear brothers and sisters. Do not lean on your own understanding. Do not lean on ego. Ego is your enemy. Your own understanding is your enemy. My dear brothers and sisters. Dear brothers and sisters, I love you. This wicked will be destroyed. But we must not we must not partake in the wicked. Therefore, we will not partake in the wicked's destruction, my dear brothers and sisters. Serve the Most High through our Savior, my dear brothers and sisters. Continue to be a light for those who are in captivity From the schemes of the evil one. From the devices of the government. The principalities of evil. We must be a light. Because they have been deceived. My dear brothers and sisters. Patience. Endure. I love you. Stay prayerful. And keep your lamps filled with light.